Hello, my name is Julie Lambert. Um, I own this beautiful Simca Arond Plain Seau. Uh, Plain Seau means open sky because of the, the lovely panoramic windscreen. It's 1958. Uh, I've owned it 31 years. Um, my love of French cars, I used to have a Peugeot 304 Cabriolet before this one. Um, and I went to see this one and it was love at first sight. Um, it's been restored, fully restored last year. Um, when I first bought it, it was a gunmetal grey colour. Um, but the guy gave me the original photos of when he bought it in from France and it was a very flat black. Um, hence, I wanted to always, it's always been my dream, if I could ever afford to, put it back to the original colour, which is what I've done. And it's been restored over the last three years. It's a 1300cc engine and the bodywork, as you can probably tell, is by Fassel, the Fassel Vega. You can see the beautiful shape. I don't think there's any straight lines on it. Um, I just, you know, people see it and they just absolutely fall in love with it. I'd never part with it. It's my dream car. Was it in this condition when you bought it? No, it was, it was in a gunmetal grey colour. Yeah. Um, it wasn't in too bad a condition. I've got all the original photos, but it's had a back to bare metal full respray. All the windows have been out, all the interior has been done, and the roof lining, I don't know if you can see the roof lining, it's absolutely stunning. Um, I said to the uh, trimmers how I wanted the roof lining, and he said to me, I don't, he rang me up and he said, I don't think I'm going to be able to do what you want me to do, and then he's managed to do it, but it's, as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. What did you know of the history of the car when you bought it? It used to belong to a doctor. It's come from Cannes in France, and it used to belong to a doctor, but that's, that's all I know, so. And how did you find her? Was it on a dealer? I just saw it advertised locally to me for sale, and only my Peugeot 304 at the time. I, I always love cars. I've grown up with two brothers that, you know, are into cars. Um, one is my, he's here today, my mobile mechanic, shall we say, um, and who helped restore the car, totally took it all apart. Um, did the engine for me, put it all back together. Um, he, obviously the bodywork went off to be done, but all the panels have been made, so the ones that needed making. Um, to, be, to be honest, it wasn't too bad a condition. Um, the seals needed redoing, um, and round by the windscreen it was, it was pretty bad, but apart from that, um, it wasn't too bad. And as you can see, the flash special, that is original. That's how it would have looked. They, used, they did a flash and they also did a flash special. The flash special being a little bit more oomph, if you like. <laughs> What's the CC again? It's only a 1300, we're 1288. Single car? Yes. but it's the only known one on the road in the UK. So there is another one, I say I've owned it 31 years and it's been the only one in, in this country for all that time until the last year. Um, and then one has just been bought in, which is being restored at the moment. And the guy is coming today, not in his car, cause he's not finished, but he wants to see this, so. Julie, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely. There's still a few bits to do on it now. It's, I think, you know, people that own a classic car say, you know, they're never finished really, but there's a few things. I've, I've managed to acquire some original um, spoked rims for it, which would have been like an option you could buy at the time. So I've managed to, but they need restoring at the moment. So, um, but they're the original trims as well that would have come with the car. 